Taking a live look right now over Campus Martius Park for you on this Wednesday, the final Wednesday of May, a warm and muggy one. Hallie Vogel, of course, back to tell us when the temps will begin to actually drop a little bit, Hallie. Yes, we'll actually see a much cooler weekend overall, so it's going to take a couple of days to kind of scour out the humidity. So it is going to be a muggy one today, not quite as hot. We're talking only about three degrees cooler than yesterday, but still temperatures in the low 80s. So a few storms possible with the peak heating of the day, best chance after 2 or 3 o'clock, and then more showers and storms tomorrow and Friday before we cool off, become less humid on Friday, and much cooler for the weekend. A mix of sun and clouds out there right now. We aren't seeing much in the way of any rain. Looking to our south, we can see a few of these showers beginning to develop into northern Ohio, moving south to north. So we'll watch for that as we go through the afternoon. It'll be very spotty, and it's going to be very hit and miss. So it's 78 degrees downtown right now, 79 in Ann Arbor, 80 in Troy, and 79 degrees Port Huron. So temperatures are plenty warm. Our heat index into mainly the mid-80s this afternoon. We get to that point of the afternoon after 2 o'clock where things really get warm. We get a little sunshine, a little instability, and that could certainly fire a few of these showers and storms. Very slow moving cold front to our west will finally move through by Friday, late morning or afternoon. Once it does clear, we'll see less humidity behind it for the weekend and cooler temperatures. I do want to mention Tropical Storm Bertha, the second name storm in two weeks. And this is bringing flooding rains to parts of the Carolinas. It'll continue to move north into Virginia here over the next 24 hours. So again, already active and officially hurricane season has not even begun. It begins June 1st. Well, here's our hour by hour forecast as we go through time here. Notice we get into the afternoon again after two o'clock maybe even closer to four or five, we see a few of these showers and storms developing from south to north across the area, very scattered in nature, fairly quiet overnight. We get to morning, we're looking at a few more showers as that cold front gets closer. This will continue on and off through the morning, even going into the afternoon tomorrow. So certainly looks more numerous for Thursday into Thursday night. And then the front finally moves through by Friday. I think by Friday afternoon, we'll start to dry out. Temperatures today into the 80s, feeling like the mid 80s with the high humidity. We'll drop down into the upper 60s for a low tonight. So certainly is going to be another warm night. We'll be in the low 80s for Thursday and Friday. Good chances for scattered showers and storms both days. We talked about the cooler weekend. We're in the 60s, in fact, so big change coming Saturday and Sunday. Refreshing, but much cooler, Alicia. We'll take refreshing for sure. Thank you so much, Allie. Well, a group of nurses yeah. at Henry Ford Hospital.